Hi everyone, welcome to Tony Fox Tarot. Thanks for joining me today. Great to have you with me. And today we're looking at the intentions of the other person. And we're going to break all of that down by having a look at where they're at in their life right now. Like, what do they want? You know, do they want a relationship? Do they want to be married? Do they want to have kids? Do they not want any of that? You know, essentially, you know, what's the next step for them in their lives? What are they really looking to, to, to grasp? And what's shaped all of that? So, you know, looking to their past, you know, where have they come from in terms of relationships, in terms of their history? Um, what's shaped them to be where they are today? And really, you know, just breaking all of that down and trying to package it up in a way that makes sense of their character. You know, striking to the, the heart of matters essentially is what we want to do today. So before we get stuck into that, if you want to go down below and hit subscribe, tap on the bell icon while you're there. That'll give you notifications for any future readings that I post. And if you are interested in the services that I offer as a psychic tarot reader, you can go to www.tonyfoxtarot.com. There's plenty of information about who it is that I am, what it is that I do, and how it is that you can access my service as a psychic tarot reader. Now, before you, on the screen, we've got three different cards, and each of them has a different crystal. And the idea is really to choose a card that resonates with you most strongly. Um, the crystals are there just to give it that extra bit of oomph so that maybe it resonates with you a bit more strongly. We've got card one, card two, and card three. And once you've chosen your card, that's obviously going to be your reading. Um, a quick guided meditation just to get you in the mood. Really simple, really quick. Um, one single nice deep breath in. And as you release the breath, just let go of any tension that you might be holding from within. Clearing the mind and focusing back on the screen before you. Which of these cards has the strongest resonance for you? Is it card one, card two, or card three? Down below, there are three different timestamps representing each of the different cards. If you would like to go to the timestamp that uh, represents your card, I'll be with you in a moment. Hi everyone, so this is card one and we're looking at what their uh, intentions are obviously. And I've kind of drawn over here really to the Wheel of Fortune and Nine of Cups. You know, this this is somebody who's really um really outgoing, very friendly actually. I think they've got a very um open kind of personality that is quite fearless in a crowd. This is somebody who doesn't hold back in terms of making friends or standing at the end of the bar and, you know, having a, ch a chat to somebody that they don't know. I think really friendly, really really kind of personable is what I get here. Um, I kind of feel this is somebody who is definitely looking for a relationship. Um, and I think they're really, they're, they're really kind of out there as well. I think they're looking, looking, looking in a way where they're actually prepared to take some big risks in order to find somebody who kind of meets them at a heartfelt level, definitely. Um, very sensitive person. Uh, definitely, um, definitely outgoing and, and probably can be a bit attention seeking. I kind of get that, that sense of that kind of putting themselves out there, you know, in, in a way that is almost taking risks. You know, it's quite bold. And um, you know, they're quite loose about that, you know. I, I think they kind of spread it around a bit, you know. This is somebody who's playing this. For me, this is somebody who's playing the scene a bit. A bit of a chanter. You know, chatting to this person, chatting to that person, getting to know you. There's lots of people on the boil, lots of things simmering away. Um... But very friendly. I, you know, I don't, I don't get any malice or kind of weirdness coming from them in terms of what they're trying to achieve. I think, I think, I think this is somebody who actually wears wears their heart on their sleeve in a way. I think they're making it known that this is what they want. It's like I, I want to be with somebody. I, I kind of I'm looking at the next phase in my life in terms of where where all of that's going. You know, so it's, it's really about setting things up in terms of um, you know their destiny, and and their destiny is all about. 
making contact. You know, this is somebody who wants to make contact. It's very, and they're very good at making contact, generally speaking. I think this is somebody who's very friendly, who would have a lot of friends. Very likeable character. There's definitely an element of risk there, though. I don't, I don't mean in a bad boy way or a bad girl way. <clears throat> I just mean um, putting it out there try, and trying to figure it out. You know, it's kind of feeling it through as they're going along. There's no strategy there. It's, it's kind of sensing things and, and, and feeling things. And you know, if, if that kind of makes them feel good, then that's the direction that they go. They're not sitting back and kind of, they're not sitting back and observing in a, in a, in a sort of intellectual way where, where, where they're kind of figuring out a crowd of people if they're out and about trying to find somebody. Um, this is somebody who is looking for somebody who's going to smile back. That's what I get, definitely. Somebody who's going to smile back and somebody who's going to respond and make them feel good. And, and, and I think there, there, for me, there's a bit of a superficiality here as well. It kind of, it's kind of all surface level. I'm putting it out there. This is who it is that I am. My calling card is my good smile, my, my looks, my charm. You know, making you feel good, um, connecting with you. Um, it's not kind of thinking at things from a, 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 I guess, a more, yeah, like a deeper level, really. That that, that sort of is about connecting to people in, in in a way that gets to know the the real person. You know, I I do feel that this is somebody who's you know kind of out there. I do feel this is somebody who is definitely doing like one night stands. You know, it's it's that kind of feeling of. Um, trying your luck, you know? Wheel of Fortune, it's, it's a real gambling card, you know, it's spinning the wheel. Knight of Cups is definitely putting it out there in terms of, you know, like really trying to connect. It's, it's, it's love mobilized. Yeah, yeah, so, 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 so there's, a, there's a lot, there's a lot going on there in that respect. Uh, like, definitely likes to be noticed, wants to, want, wants to be seen. Um, But I get I get a feeling that this is somebody who isn't over somebody from their past. They're still very much in love with somebody from their past. Yeah, you know, this is somebody who has um, been let down, who is grieving, and who's recovering from that. Um, and, and they've got a really strong love for, for this person who who has been left behind. So there, this is this is somebody who's very sensitive, um, likes a lot of fun, likes to do things in a risky, dynamic way, um, likes to take chances. This is someone who likes to take chances. But their energy is kind of, you know, bottomed out. They, they don't have a lot of energy at the moment. I kind of get a feeling they're really sort of drawn into this very, you know, great, great depth of feeling about what they've left behind, the love that they have for this other person. I think they, I, my sense is they really want this to kind of reignite. There's a hope there. There's, there's a flame burning. You know, this, this, this is evolved feeling. This is evolved love. And if, you know, if I kind of look more back to the past, I start to see kind of quite a different character as well. Is this somebody who can get quite angry? Definitely. I think they're very they can be very changeable. They can be very moody. There's an immaturity about this person. It's kind of fresh energy. It's kind of, but it's very changeable as well. Like it's, it's not evolved and mature. This is somebody with a, you know, like a, 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 a definite, um, need to be out there in a way where they're being seen and they're being heard. Um, but yeah, sorry, come back, coming back to, to, to the, to the past, you know, this is somebody who, who, who has just come out of a really difficult period. I think they're on, they're on a, at a turning point in their life where things are kind of starting to move in a very different direction. I think they're getting over it, but they're not, not fully over it. The feel, their feelings had, you know, maybe they've rationalized it in their mind in terms of what they've left behind with this 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 past relationship, but their 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 heart hasn't caught up. Their heart's not resolved. Their heart's still left behind with this other person. And you know, when you go back there, this is somebody who has been really angry. 
things have been very turbulent for them. Um, I think they really hoped that this past relationship, you know, would 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 you know realize something greater, you know, in terms of its potential. I think they were really invested in this person. I think this is somebody who has put a lot into what was going. I think there was a lot of growth in this connection. Okay, kind of feeling that they wanted more. They saw the potential in terms of where it would go. I don't think this, this I don't feel like this is somebody who's ever really told this person how they really felt. I think they've kept um kept kept, kept their true feelings to themselves. They've been been a, you know, I, I think there's a a defense mechanism there. And they've reacted to what's going on in a really angry way. My sense is that they've had, um, this has been out of their hands. Perhaps this other person's let them, I, I do get that, I get that feeling that somebody else has let them down. That somebody has pulled the plug on this in a way where, I don't think that they saw it coming. I think they were overly invested, overly focused on what was going on. They just, they, they, they sensed that this would just grow. I think that they were so invested emotionally that um, they probably didn't want to think about things going wrong. And 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 and, and as soon as that's happened, you know, the the uns this is not somebody who likes uncertainty. They don't deal with the unknown. Um. And and uh, yeah, I, I I get a feeling they reacted very angry. Nine of Swords is you know very it's a very angry card. Like it's it's it has a real unpredictability about it in terms of temper. You know things can flare up just you know from zero to one hundred in in you know in in a, in a split second. You know and you don't know where you're at, and it's quite frightening. So it's quite you know so this this I do feel like this is a, there's a bit of a, a Jekyll and Hyde energy here with this person. I think that they you know, outwardly they're great, they're very social, everybody likes this person. You know I think they can be quite superficial and just keep keep a party going. You know they know how to feed everybody what they need in terms of the feel good factor. Um. I, you, I kind of get, I get a feeling this is somebody who walks around doing a bit of flexing. You know what I mean? Like, you know, male or female, like, it's just like, like, like you know, looking good, feeling good, <laughs> you know, showing it off, flaunting it. Um, this is, you know, some, some, something a bit party about this person, something a bit kind of like, I really feel that they, that they want to be out there. They want to be connecting to other people in a way where um, they're validated at a surface, at a surface level. I think deep down, there's a lot of anger there within them. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of feel... Um, for perhaps, you know, that, that they maybe they haven't put the energy into this previous connection in a way where, you know, it, 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 it gave it the, the maturity that it needed in order for it to, to really kick in in a way that it had a, had a sort of vision or had a, had a, had a future. I don't think they, I don't think this is not somebody, I don't feel like this is somebody who tries as hard as they really could. They're getting, a, they're getting around on a surface level. You know, they, they, they take the easy path, you know, superficial validation, super, superficial connections, um, and they don't like to, and they don't like to be challenged in a way where it goes deep. I think this is this is what I'm feeling. It's like you want, once you start to go deeper in, deeper into this person, you know, you you have to kind of um, rustle, rustle, ruffle, ruffle, rustle around in um, in some in, maybe in some baggage that 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 gets a bit prickly because there's definite anger anger issues there. Yeah, Let's see, you know, sorry, just pulled a. So commitment issues. And, and I think that they want to be in a relationship, but what, what they don't know how to do is to kind of step it up in terms of like the full responsibility about what that actually means, you know? And there's a lot of sexual energy there with this person. I think they're quite, quite, quite sort of a, quite a frisky person. You know, like really wants to sort of be out and about and, you know, it's it's very touchy-feely. Hi, how you doing? Touch, 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 hug, hug, hug. And it's quite nice on one level because it's very friendly, but it's also very flirtatious. And there's a lot of sexual energy there. You know, all these wands here, they're, they're definitely sort of, you know, sexual sexual energy. 
but but you know but well but, but coming back to the point of this relationship idea you know with commitment issues you know they're, they're not stepping it up in terms of the full responsibility to what 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 it means to have a relationship and they don't go deep within themselves and they don't connect at a deeper level with other people Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? I feel out of control. I need to be in control. This relates to the high priestess and the ten of um, the ten of swords. It's that uncertainty, you know. It's that uncertainty of what's up ahead. Who's going to hurt me? What's going to go wrong? Defined by the pain that I've had in the past. This is somebody who has a long history of being let down and betrayed, and I don't think it's just intimate relationships. You know, I'm reading this on an intimate level, like an intimate relationship level, because this person's putting it out there like they want to meet people intimately. They're looking, they're looking for love, right? And so you've got somebody who who, who, who gets very... Um, like This is a self-destructive energy, yeah? The Knight of Swords, the Ten of, of, of Swords, the High Priestess, the Moon. You know, the Moon and the High Priestess, you know, really, there's lots of uncertain energy in these cards. Like, you know, you just don't know what's really going on behind them. Um, and there's, there's, you know, especially with the moon, there's a lot of difficult feeling there, you know, like it's, it's really unresolved in a way where it's kind of soupy and makes you feel quite scared. It's, it's edgy. It's very edgy. And it goes into depression. It gets quite dark. I mean, you're getting right down there into the nitty gritty. It's like, ugh. And when, you know, when this person has to go down into that kind of space of kind of like trying to figure things out at a deeper level, they get really angry. You know, there's this, this big superficial layer of kind of anger on top of, what's really going on and if you go if you go deeper down you know this person's this person's been 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 let down ten of swords is all about being sort of you know like 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 betrayed and um let down in a way where you it's quite dramatic you know like kind of in some ways it's sort of like it's not looking at responsibility it's more in the moment of just been, been in the drama of what's going on and feeling that everything's against you. And, you know, the High Priestess is, you know, like these, these two cards are, you know, they're very much about, oh, what's up ahead in the future? It's all uncertain, you know, judging from everything that's ever happened to me in terms of people letting me down, stabbing me in the back, betraying me, going against me. That's what I think is going to happen in the future. More of the stuff that I've had in the past. I'm out of control, you know? I want to make a commitment. I want to be with somebody, but 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 I get so angry. You know, I don't know how to go deep. I don't even know what that even means because I don't. If I go deep, then there's all this other stuff in the way. It's like, oh my god, this is like, what am I supposed to do? So they kind of just ride the wave, you know, hoping for the best outcome without really putting in the groundwork to make it happen. And they can be really changeable. This is the thing I'm getting about this person. Very changeable energy. One minute's one way and next minute's next. One minute's on, next minute's off. Hot and cold. Really angry. Now I'm not. I'm really friendly. Jekyll. Hide. Dark light. Yeah, want to know this person. This is a great person. Get to know them. Oh my God. <laughs> What's going on? This is turbulent. And don't get me wrong, because this is this is all of us. We all have good and bad. We all have we've all got issues. That's what we're all here to, to kind of figure out is to figure out our issues in, in some ways. But codependency, addictions are affecting romantic life. Definitely get a sense that this person is somebody who would be very clingy, because there's a lot of fear in here, a lot of fright, a lot of uncertainty. And this isn't somebody who actually faces what's going on. This is not a brave person. This is not a courageous person. I'll say that. This is somebody who wants to be babied along. This is somebody who wants to ride the wave. They want to kind of, they're looking for, they're looking to cut corners. They want easy ways to get to the, to, to, to get good outcomes, right? And it causes all sorts of problems in terms of commitment. You know, um, when problems flare up for them, you know, you know, they feel out of control. Yeah. And then they want to be in control. And that, you know, that, that anger can be really controlling. It's like, okay, I'm not going to face this. I'm going to get angry at you or at you in a way where I just make it all about the anger. It's kind of like, it's, it's just, and all it's doing is just blocking what's going on. It's not actually figuring anything out. And so may, may, maybe the codependency here that I've, I've kind of, you know, drawn is, 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 is really about wanting somebody to kind of help them to kind of just cover it up. 
you know, to cons to conspire in a way? Is that what I'm looking to say? Maybe to coerce them along this path that just kind of keeps it superficial, that doesn't go so deep, you know? So maybe this is somebody who's surrounding themselves with people who are superficial, as well as doing things that are pretty superficial. I don't get depth here, you know? I get somebody who's scared. I get somebody who's running away from their past. But in order to move forward, you know, you, you've, got, you've got to figure this stuff out. Otherwise, it's never going to happen in a way where it's true and honest. And I think they have definitely started to ask the big questions about what's going on. Moving on, let's come over here quickly. I, I, I definitely get a, a sense that this is somebody who's examining what's happened, you know, in terms of relationships. I think they are on one level trying to figure it out. Um, but they're not there. They're not anywhere near actually asking those, those kind of authentic questions that really define, you know, the true self in a way that, you know, allows you to um, make resolution with, you know, these issues that get in the way of commitment. And so, so I think moving on for them is actually going to be really tricky at this point in time. If I look more to the past, I think I think they have actually asked a lot of questions, you know, you know, within themselves. I mean, maybe they have been asking why. But it kind of leads to that subconscious denial of truth. And then the anger flares up. That's what I get with this. And all they can figure out from it is that they just want to be with somebody. They want to be comforted. They want somebody to help them through. Yeah, I feel threatened. They definitely feel threatened by people. They feel that people are going to get them, stab them in the back, let them down. People are uncertain. They never knew. They, 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 there's this definite trust issues here. You know, I don't trust you. Well, that's why they keep it superficial, because that way if they don't go too deep, there's not so much to lose. For me, this is somebody who... Um, is looking for new perspective. So, so they're putting themselves out there in a way where they want to meet somebody. They're putting themselves out there in a really friendly, lovely way. There is a really lovely side to this personality. Don't get me wrong. This is a really friendly, outgoing person. Definitely got the warm fuzzies here. You know, this is somebody who wants to buy you a drink. This is somebody who actually, you know, give you a hand, help you out, you know, um, you know, you know, in a way where 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 they would be very friendly, you know, um, you know, they they do have good intentions, you know, they do have good intentions. But when it comes to making decisions about going into the relationship, you know, going into you know something deeper. They just get stuck, you know, short of being able to figure out how to strategize that in a way that takes on responsibility and initiates a, a kind of pathway that's based on something deeper, yeah? Like for them, it's, it kind of feels distant. You know, there's always something just a bit separate. There's something, it's, it's like, it's like, it's, it's like something veils you between them in a way where you can't quite get in there or they can't quite get into you. So they're kind of stuck in this longing, you know, of wanting it to happen, of wanting to meet somebody. But it's like a, it's, it's, it's like a, it's like a merry-go-round or a, or a kind of, you know, um, a spinning, you know, like the spinning wheel. It's like, you know, it's like the karmic wheel. It's just try, trying to get off this, this, this ride, trying to get off this wheel. And it's like, you know, I'm, I'm making all these efforts. I'm trying to put myself out there. You know, I'm being really friendly. I meet really great people, but every time it gets to the point of, 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 of you know, like a, you know, potential to go further, it's like it, it doesn't quite land in the right place, you know? And then I just get really confused, and 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 then and then I and and then I and then I just kind of revert back to this immaturity, and then I feel really then then I, then I feel rejected. And then I feel threatened. 
Why does anybody love me? Why does anybody like me? What's wrong with me? What am I doing? What, you know, so in a lot of ways, it's all about them, yeah? There's a lot of immaturity here, actually. There's a lot of immaturity here. So the easiest way for them to navigate it is just to keep on being friendly, flirtatious, superficial, skirt over all this other stuff. It's too complicated. They just don't get it. They don't know how to navigate it. But, you know, this is somebody who really does want to... I really feel like this is somebody who wants to have kids. Definitely. Definitely. You know, they want the family. They want kids. Another birth card. You know? Family. This is somebody who wants to meet somebody, who wants to settle down. This is somebody who wants to have a family, who wants... They kind of want to start a whole new life. They want to leave all of this stuff that's actually been hanging in their past behind. But, you know, they still haven't gotten over this other person because they can't figure it out. They can't figure out what they're doing wrong. Because they've got a whole load of preloaded, a whole load of preloaded, a load of preloaded ideas about what people are about. They, they actually expect the worst. In many ways, they manifest it. And so they're quite, I think in a way, they're, they're kind of just trying to, as I said, said before, they're trying to just kind of like move on from that in a way where they just leave it behind without figuring it out. And then they just throw themselves back out there again, hoping for the best. Never really figuring out the problems that they've had with previous relationships. This so is just bring all that baggage into a new one when, when, when they do find it. And the problem is that, you know, they just find it so hard to keep on doing this in a way where they, they never really land what they want. To, to, for, for them, it's actually about a much bigger picture. You know, they really want, they really want to settle down. They really want to settle down. They want growth. They do want growth. They want to plan for the future. They, they want somebody to plan. They want to have a relationship with somebody so that they can plan a future. Definitely. They want adventure as well. Like, this, is, this is a very active person. This is somebody who has a lot of energy. Exhausting, though, I have to say, you know, the negative side of it for me is very exhausting. I feel, I feel quite drained by this reading in some ways. It's far outweighed by the kind of positives that we have here in terms of what they have to offer, because there's a lot to work through. But this is definitely somebody who wants to go out there and have an adventure. And look, you know, the, I'm going to say on the plus side is this is somebody who has been asking the right questions. They want to know what's going on. They, want, they do want to go deeper into figuring out what motives are driving their intentions. They, 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 so they do want to understand. They, they want to figure out, you know, how to make the right choices. There's no doubt about it. They're aware that they're not getting what they want. And they know that they want to make the right choices. They're kind, of, they're kind of clear about figuring out what their wants and needs and desires are all about. They, they, so they do, have a, they do have introspective capacity, but they, yeah, this is somebody who needs guidance, actually. And I think you have to be very careful with that, because if you're going to guide somebody with this level of... I would say destructive energy, self-destructive energy based on on, on, on on a very fragile sense of worth, self-worth, you know, because of being let down and, and, and always expecting the worst and then always getting getting the worst. Now, I think, I think you have to really treat this person quite sensitively. It's going to take somebody who's really able to meet them and see their truth in a way where they can help them to navigate that and, and to take them together. This is somebody who needs to learn I think this is somebody who definitely needs to, to grow and learn, and they're willing to do that. So it's, it's, it's a matter of finding the right person. I'll, I'll say that much. Yeah, but I, I, there, there are some real negatives here. I, I definitely, this is somebody who... who, who uh, liar. See, that's really harsh, isn't it? But uh, you know, is it that they lie to other people or is it they're lying to themselves? I actually think that's more the case. This is somebody who, who who lies to themselves because you know this this suppression of what's been happening in the past, you know, these commitment issues, feeling out of control, needed to be the self the self destructiveness, the anger. 
I, you know, and, and that anger, like that, for me, that anger could maybe be a little bit violent. I don't say it has to be violent towards people, but I think, you know, this is somebody who will take their frustrations out on something in an angry way, definitely. So there could be a degree of violence there. But but the, the, the violence is coming from a place of frustration because they can't figure it out. It's not coming from a, a kind of a malice. I don't, I don't get that about this person. This is not somebody who wants to be... No, I don't get a vind like a vindictive, um, manipulative, or or or, or you know, it's not. This is not pointed in in a way at people. You know, it just like flares up out of their own. I, I guess you know, naivety really. But, you know, I think they've decided to move on from this other person in a way where they feel like, you know, it's a new beginning for them. It's definitely worn them down. They still have a flame burning for this person. But, you know, I think that they know that it's time to move forward. So, so there's definitely that sense of like, okay, I'm moving on. And, you know, for me, you know, the way that they will actually deal with what's happened in the past is just to kind of, you know, put it into, into the denial kind of bracket. Yeah. Um, and, and so, so they're concentrating on just having some fun at the moment. Yeah, look at all the, everything that I'm pulling out here with, with, with these, um, with these written notes. They're all so negative about them, themselves. I'm not good enough. You know, this, this person, you know, and now I start, see, now my empathy kicks in because I'm starting to feel really sorry for them in a way because it's like you know i want want you know this person wants to just wants to be in love and they just don't know how to navigate it this is a bit of a lost soul and i feel i feel you know they've had a lot of suffering they've had a lot of pain and i think they need to forgive themselves and they need to stop being so hard this is somebody who's been really hard on themselves yeah and they just need to find the right person in a way that can help them to heal a little bit Yeah, you know, trust is a big issue here. Then, you know, it needs to go softly, softly in a way where where it's one small step at a time. But you need to break through that superficiality. You know, you need to get a bit further down into a bit of depth. And you need to know what you're working with here. You know, this, this is quite a handful for me, you know. Um, but you've got, you you do have a love you actually do have a lovely wheel of fortune knight of cups you know this is, this is a really lovely person I think that they really tried to put the the, the right the, the best foot forward each and every time you know it's it, it is an outward sort of sort of you know, outward kind of sort of surface level energy but it's, it it also is indicative of 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 them giving in a way that is very um, very sweet and very lovely you know. And you know their intentions in terms of wanting to meet somebody and have a relationship is true. That's that that's that, that is the one thing where I pick up here that's just so 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 kind of pointed in a very honest and truthful way. I think that, you know, if you're going to take away anything from this, is the guiding force for me. You know, somebody who 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 is prepared to make the inroads to 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 get some, you know, to to, to get to the next step. They they want to learn, yeah. But they just, they don't have confidence. They lack, they lack the confidence within themselves. You know, they worry a lot. They undermine themselves. Lots of self-sabotage going on here. Anyway, so that's reading number one. And I hope that this has helped in some way. And if it has, leave some comments down below. And subscribe and tap on the bell icon to get notifications about future readings and... If you want to find out more about me, go to www.tonyfoxtarot.com and other videos are posted on my YouTube channel and feel free to browse those and keep an eye out for those that are going to come up on the horizon. Thanks very much and take care. Hi everyone, welcome to card two. This is your reading and we are looking at the intentions of the other person today. So we've got some cards on the table and we're ready to really just jump in and have a look and see what's going on. Um, you know, this is somebody who 
I feel has come out of a relationship um, not too long ago. It feels very fresh to me. Um, I think there's quite a lot of pain involved with this particular breakup. But you know, I, th I think it might be really hard to, to, to be able to gauge what that means because this is somebody who keeps their hand very close to their chest. I don't think they're, they're, they're not a person of, of, of many words. <clears throat> I think they t tend to live in their, in their mind a little bit. Um, there's definitely a, a sort of self-protective uh, aspect to their nature. I think, I think they, you know, they're, they're, they're a realist. They, they, they know things can and do go wrong in life and that not everything is perfect and that sometimes there's suffering. Um, and, and they're quite black and white around that particular way of looking at things. Um, get somebody who's very street smart, very savvy, very perceptive, very intelligent, um, and also quite sophisticated. This is quite a cultured person for me. I feel that this is somebody who has a really unique perspective. They enjoy fine things in life, you know, and they have a refined point of view and a refined, you know, uh, aesthetic. Um, <clears throat> Definitely somebody who likes to, 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 to be challenged on an intellectual level. You know, I think, I think you would need to have your wits around you with this person because they'd be testing you out in a kind of almost unconscious way. You know, I think, I think they, they, they like to press a button, you know, to get a response, to see how far they can go, to see what it is that you're made of. Um, you know, they enjoy that stimulation of engaging on a really intelligent level. This is somebody who likes puzzles, you know, like, like they like to work things out, you know, very, very, very intelligent, likes to be challenged. I wouldn't want to go wrong with them, though. I wouldn't want to do, I kind of feel like, feel like this is somebody who could, um, hold a grudge in a way where they might be a little bit vindictive. I, I feel that. And I, and I also felt that if things weren't going their way, um, they, they certainly make that known in, 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 the, in, in their mood. You know, I, I think, you know, atmospherically, they, they can kind of create a, a sort of, you know, a pretty heavy energy where you, where, where, you know, where, where they, can, they can spell it out without having to spell it out, if you know what I mean. But, you know, they really want to settle down and have a family. That's a really big focus for them at this point in time. You know, I think that the idea of domestic bliss is really sort of at the forefront. You know, they, they, they kind of want to go into the simple things in life. And, and for them, that means, you know, being in a relationship, you know, having the energy of kids around you or them. Um... And sort of, you know, working towards the, the, the goal of, of, of settling down and in, in enjoying, you know, domestic arrangements that are all about servicing the needs of a relationship and, you know, a family. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a really strong focal point. It's a really driven person. I think this is somebody who works really, really hard. I wonder whether their work takes them away, whether they travel with their work. They're very committed to their job. Um, this is, this is, you know, this is a high performance individual. This is somebody who actually really, you know, is very professional, very intelligent, very, um, good at managing things on a level that they can, where, where they can t take control. And I feel like their job is taking them places. I kind of just think about their work. I kind of feel like things are moving up with their work. People are very happy to have this person around, you know. Um, everything kind of falls into line when they're around. Um, this, yeah, so if I come back to this idea of, of not wanting to be on the wrong side of them, you know, it, it's almost like they, they, they give you the silent treatment in a way. Um, and they can just put everything into place in a way where they, where, where they speak very few words. It's very energy, it's very energy efficient. It's very, it's very intelligent. I don't say that they're controlling you with a mood necessarily. It's, it's more 
you're just not quite sure where you're at with them because they're very withdrawn at times and they don't say a lot. And so you tend on the on, on, on the side, you know, err air on the side of caution is what I'm saying. Because I think underneath that, you think, oh God, you know, like if I get on the wrong side of this person, something really big, big could flare up. You know, you might get a really, a really savage response. So, 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 so I think everybody kind of, you know, treats this person with a little bit of, a little bit of space, keep a little bit of space between you and them. But that was more also relating also to the work that they're doing. I think this is somebody who, who kind of manages things very efficiently, very, very controlled and um, <clears throat> knows how to get the job done. So the focus really at the moment is, is very much about having a relationship. So the idea of family is very much, you know, the central kind of aim of what they're wanting to achieve. Settling down, having kids, finding happiness through and fulfillment through family. Um, they've, they've, they've had a difficult breakup, I felt, been very turbulent, very torturous, um, I think very painful for this person, but they've kept it to themselves. They haven't really gone on about it. I feel like I feel like they've left a relationship that's that 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 that's kind of gone a little bit um yeah it's it's below the belt the other person's gone you know hit below the belt in a way where where I think this person's kind of had to take the high road this is somebody who takes the high road this is somebody who won't stoop down who won't take a low punch um this is somebody who won't belittle themselves by acting, you know, in, a, in an immature and uncivilized way. Civilization you know, and, and civil behavior is, is, is really, really at the forefront. This is somebody who, who, who has a really fine aesthetic, you know, very, you know, appreciative of culture and refinery, you know, art. Um, I get a sense that this is somebody who um, wants the good things in life maybe even has the good things in life um, because they're really, really focused on what really matters and what really matters to them is truth and honesty and they don't like to indulge anybody they don't want to have to be put into a position where they have to indulge somebody who doesn't know better and who should know better but the focus is you know obviously about family but they also really want to be in a relationship at this time you know they want to be in a relationship that's really honest and they want that relationship to be a soulmate connection. It is somebody that they can trust, that they can rely on. Um, but they're very frustrated, very angry um, about what it is that they left behind. So there's the, the, I, I kind of don't feel that things are fully resolved on one level. I think there's a, a, a lot of um, internal anger. And they're really frightened that they'll be let down again. I think security is really important to this person. Money, security. This is somebody who doesn't want to be um, at the mercy of other people or situations where they might might have to, you know, go hand in cap, so cap in hand, sorry, to, um, to 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 find resources, support. And security. This is somebody who wants to be in control. They want to, to to avoid all of that. I feel like there's some healing that needs to play, take place with this person, because although they know what they want on, on on one level in terms of family and a relationship, um, you know, coming down here, all all that glitters. You know, um, they're, they're they're acutely aware that everybody's flawed. Not everybody's perfect. That people, situations, things, um you know, can, you know, are infallible, you know, that they have their moment where uh, the, that they can show true, their true colours or, or, or be, become unreliable. You know, but despite that, um, you know, this, this, this kind of, this, this, this devastation that they left behind, this, this, this betrayal, this sense of betrayal that they've left behind, you know, it's in the past. And at the end of the day, they are moving on. They, they do still need to resolve some things, but, you know, they're still angry about what happened. Um, but they're, 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 they're pushing onwards. They want a whole new life, you know? And they want a life that gives them fulfillment. And, and when I say a whole new life, they want a whole new life. They want every aspect to be new, regenerated, um, fresh, fulfilling. Um... And they're working and they're prepared to work really hard just to, you know, lay, lay down that foundation away. And you know, if I come over here to take the lead, I mean, this is somebody who is really 
prepared to, to, to kind of give it whatever it takes to, 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 to get this up and running. Once this person is committed, you know, um, it's all guns blazing. It's all guns blazing. They, um, they're invested and, you know, they want to succeed. So even if, even if issues, you know, arise, they, they know how, they, they have a process where they can kind of like work through it, you know, contemplatively, realistically and practically. I kind of feel like this is somebody who's quite skilled, you know, around the idea of a relationship. They know how they know how to navigate a relationship very, very, very maturely, and yeah. Again, they come come back to this idea of them being a realist. You know, they're, they're a realist, um, and they know that at times problems are going to ha going to happen with with with, with in, in relationships. Um, but you know, once again, they, 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 this is somebody who has had, had, had quite a lot of experience in relationships and is very resourceful at a very practical point, from a very practical point of view. They're quite well learned. They're quite intelligent. I feel, again, the sophistication comes through really strongly. I feel like this is somebody who is, is you know, intellectually capable and also qualified. I'm going to feel like this is a very educated individual, somebody who has... Um, Either a really good grasp on what the world's all about through their inner wisdom, which is a big part of what I would feel that this person's about. But also, I think they, because they have a really um, articulate mind, it's very agile, like it's just and, and very sharp. And they, just, they, just, they, just, you know, they know how to get to the point. You know, this is so. This is somebody I kind of feel that has 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 probably also for some of you has has actually had uh, a, a rich educational experience they've learned a lot and they absorb it all they use it all very resourceful but coming back to this idea about you know navigating difficulties in relationships you know, this is somebody who who essentially wants to move through all of that in a way where they get over the obstacle and get results this is a results-based person they like that with their work they like that with their mental process and they and, and and you know they 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 know that everything is flawed to some degree that nobody is perfect and you know so again this thing about being a realist comes through really really strongly for me. Um, but they're looking for that thing that's special. They want that thing that's special in a relationship. You know, and trust is really important to them. It's everything. It's really, it's it's everything. It's everything, I think, that perhaps they have. We got dark side here. There is a dark side to this person. I think it's because they've seen a lot of dark stuff. You know, there are, again, this thing about being a realist and being quite streetwise. They know that bad things can happen to good people. And they effectively, you know, they have to block that out at times. They have to use their mental strengths to be able to kind of go, you know, I just, let's not go there. Look on the good side of life. Look on the bright side of life because there's a dark side of life. This is somebody who knows pain. This is somebody who knows suffering. And when I say that, I don't know that it's just about like, you know, emotional sort of suffering from a relationship. I kind of feel like this is somebody who has possibly seen something a bit dark, a bit dark in their life. And it's in their history. But they, but they, they've had to draw from this experience in a way that actually helps them to rise up above it. Could be abuse. It could be that they've witnessed something, witnessed something dark, seen that there's a dark side of life, experienced that there's a dark side of life, and it makes them appreciate the light in life. But it comes back to what I was seeing, seeing before: all that glitters is not gold. They know that that's the case. But they also know that special things do happen, you know, um, and, they're, and, and their focus about a relationship, it's, 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 you know, the primary function, the primary motive of, of what that needs to be established on is trust. So they're willing to take a risk. Yeah, they're not that controlled. Um, for me, you know, they're very motivated. Um, around the idea of 
honesty, truth, trust, you know? I think this is somebody who sees that the only way forward in terms of having a relationship that can last, the only reason that you would even have a relationship for them is that it's based on, on honesty, trust, integrity. Um, and if, 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 if they can't have that, then they're, then they're prepared to walk away from it. They're prepared to walk away from it. For, the, for them, if, if the other person can't hold to that, um, or the relationship isn't based on that, then there's no point in, 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 in kind of going on. So, you know, this, these, these are pretty high qualities in terms of their, their value. Um, there's a lot of impact, a lot of gravity on what they're saying here. You know, they've seen challenging things in life. They know that nothing is perfect. Um, they've had a difficult relationship. I think they've had difficult relationships in the past, but they want to settle down. They want to find emotional fulfillment. They really want to have a family and they essentially, you know, the starting point for them is to actually find somebody that they can trust. If trust isn't there, it's not on. If trust is lost within the relationship, it's off. It's, it's, I think on that level, it's actually quite black and white. That could be tri tricky. Um, because... Again, not everybody's perfect, and sometimes trust. Sometimes trust can be breached. Um, mistakes can be made. So I think I think that could be quite difficult to navigate for the other person because this person would make you feel like you really need to be on your toes, and that if you actually breach their trust, that it would actually be over. So there would be an enormous amount to lose. This is also somebody who really needs quite a lot of space. This is somebody who needs to be able to have the room to grow, but they've got quite a big mind, you know? So, so I kind of feel like this is somebody who needs lots of contemplative space, lots of quiet time. This is somebody who withdraws into themselves in a way where they need to be able to have their own process. This is somebody who is definitely setting up the next phase of their life, okay? Now, my sense is, is that there's definitely a connection going on here already for me. I kind of feel that there is a connection with this person for the both of you. And I get a sense that maybe you feel the, the, the kind of disappointment or the sorrow or the grief from, from what is it they've left behind. And perhaps at times this is somebody who is actually really, really quite sort of, um, you know, because this is somebody who's got really strong boundaries, yeah? You know, they, they, they really know how to compartmentalise and they can block people out in a way where they won't let them in. And I think that can be quite confronting. And at times it makes them look really selfish and self-absorbed. But I felt that there was a, a connection between the two of you and this connection was really strong. Um, there's a lot in common, you know, you bounce things off of each other in a way where I, I think that you both see this enormous potential in what's going on. But I think for you, I think, you know, like you're still worried, concerned as to where this is all going to go in respect of what this person's left behind. But the connection that you have with this person, you know, it's so strong. You know, and actually bears no, bears no, bears no connection to what it is this person has left behind. This person's cut away. They've, they've left it behind, but they hold pain within themselves. But it's not just that pain. This, this, this is a person who holds some suffering deep down because they've seen bad things, seen difficult things, seen challenging things. They've seen the dark side of life. And at times they just need their own space. And, you know, because they've got these really strong boundaries, um... And they have a tendency to withdraw into their own inner world because they have a very rich inner world, you know, and they work things out. You know, it's, it's very, it's very reflective, very contemplative. 
And it's a really unique perspective and it's a place where nobody else is allowed into. I think this is where you're going to have to be very patient, but also quite accepting as to what this person is, to who this person is. Because this person doesn't let you all the way in, right deep down in there. Now, they'll let you into their space, into their place, into their world, into their heart. And you'll be with them in a way where you can enjoy having somebody who you know um, values what really matters in life. Truth, honesty, integrity. Yeah. And they're committed. But there's a piece of them that they keep to themselves because it's for themselves only. And they don't let or share, let anybody in or share that with anybody else. And that makes a part of them seem unfathomable because they don't reveal this really deep part. And, 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 and it's fused with the fact that they have seen something that's dark and the need, the need to withdraw and it makes them feel distant. Like it, it just, it, there's a, maybe, it, maybe it comes a bit across as a bit cold at times. Yeah. This says poor mental health. I'm going to play with that. I would say I'd say part of that's actually true because a, a part of what that is is actually their their, their suffering, their, their 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 deep suffering from what they've experienced in the past. Um, and when they when they when when they experience things that breach trust, breach integrity, um, breach honesty. You know, that, for them, that that means that that they they're, they're losing. Like it's it's almost like that's reaffirming how flawed life can be to them. It's like, oh, okay, yeah. Now I remember. You know, I shouldn't expect more. Um, yeah, I, I, I. But you know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's it's just part of who it is that they are in a way. This is somebody who's very aspirational. I think they're really striving towards big things in terms of money and security. They really want to realize a comfortable life. They want the good things in life. It comes back to everything that I was seeing before in terms of this idea of, of um, refinement, um, uh, you know, art, culture, um, the good things in life. This is somebody who, who, who really wants to rise up in the world in a way where they have control of everything on in, in terms of a financial or, or aspirational um, outcome. This is a talented person who I think has amazing ideas. They don't, they don't, they're not bound just by their professional focus. I think this is somebody who is um, sustainable uh, fr from the point of view of being able to unfold their talent in a way where they could make something of themselves. You know, this, this is somebody who has amazing ideas, who, who has the intelligence to be successful in, 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 in very kind of entrepreneurial ways. Definitely focused on the idea of children, um, very wary about, you know, people and what can go wrong in life. That, that's, that, that's a repeating thing that keeps on coming up for me. No place like home. And, and, you know, I think this is the, the, the kind of almost like the, the kind of, you know, the, the tension of opposites, bad things in life, you know, dark things that happen, people letting you down, poor mental health, um, the need to withdraw, the need to get away from everything, the need to isolate just to kind of be with yourself. You're the only one that you can trust because you know the parameters of your own inner world and you can't let everybody in fully. However, that's a lonely place. I think this is a really lonely person, actually. I think this is what I'm picking up really strongly, is this is somebody who's really lonely, who is really isolated, who doesn't let anybody fully in. But they want to try that. They, 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 you know, like they want to take a chance on that. They want to be with somebody to, to test the parameters of trust. And the way to do that is to be with somebody, to have somebody in a relationship, to have a home, to have children, to instill all the things that really matter to them in terms of what they see through a very refined, articulate lens of life and to filter that through into, into the home, which is where everybody is, you know, so it impacts on 
you on the family. You know, relationship is everything to them. They want to be in a relationship. They want to find balance. It's the, it's the yin and yang aspect. They really want that. That's, that's really important to them. I kind of come back over here to the Magician and the Queen of Wands. And again, I get this kind of self-starting, kind of like a self-starter kind of thing. You know, this entrepreneurial individual, very motivated to make something of themselves in a way where they can pull all their, their skills and their experiences together. And apply that in a working way into a job or into, into some sort of a business, maybe. I think there's somebody who has something to share on another level in terms of maybe teaching people as well. Showing people how to do things. Yeah. They were very wary of the establishment of government, of organisations of, um, you know, I guess, you know, um, systematic, um, um, yeah, systems that are, are sort of systematically built that, yeah, it's, it's almost like a big brother thing. I kind of, this is somebody who wants to be isolated away from the mainstream. They're very wary of government, very wary of systems, very wary of the abuse of power. This abuse of power also links back to their history. I kind of feel that this somehow relates to the suffering that they've actually experienced over their life. Somebody's abused the power of, 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 of over them. Um, or they've been on the, on, on the receiving end of, of power that's been abused either by an individual or by a system. But yeah, very, very, very focused, really very, very focused on housing, a housing situation. I kind of felt that was very, 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 very strong sexual energy as well. I think because they keep so much in, um, they keep so much pushed down. Um, very controlled individual very driven, you know, once they make their mind up, they really push, 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 push to get the results, work very hard to get those results. But as a consequence, because everything is kind of so disciplined, you know, I think, I think you know, uh, their, their sexuality is also compartmentalised. And when that little door is opened up, there's an enormous amount of energy that's been, you know, burning away there that needs to be released. So very strong very expressive sexual sexual energy. Um, actually, quite a big personality at a sexual level. Um, happily ever after. Kind of reinforces once again what I'm seeing here in terms of the idea of wanting to settle down and have kids and find this balance in life, find a balance in life that actually has, you know, the rewards of fulfillment at an emotional level. Um... I think they've, they've they've attempted quite a number of relationships over their time and they've just been really dissatisfied, let down. Have felt um, it's not what they've really wanted. And I think they've just come to a point where they're really at the end of the road with that and they really want to get to what matters. And so they're really focused on the idea of, of, of having a relationship that really hits the mark and I kind of felt really strongly you know a bit earlier that there was definitely a connection between the two of you here and that um something needed to you know that there was a balance there that there was a balance there so I kind of feel just to sum this up that this is somebody who is a bit of a dark horse yeah I think there's something quite hard to fathom, but I, I find it intriguing. It's really quite, there's quite, there's quite a lot of mystery there. I think there's somebody who would keep you on your toes. I think there is a dark side on one level. I wouldn't want to be on the wrong side of this person, as I said to you before. I think, I think, I think you know, you have to have your wits about you in that this is not somebody you mess about with. You know, their, their, their values are very true. Honesty and integrity are really right at the forefront. And if you mess with those two, two in particular, then, you know, you're, you're, you're messing with everything. Because if they go, if you breach those, if you breach the trust, um, this is somebody who would be very cold, I think. You know, and, 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 and would, would, 
there would be no hesitation just to kind of go, well, that's it, that's final. You've, 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 you've betrayed me. They really do see things quite black and white on that level. But, you know, I think, you know, honesty and integrity um, is multifaceted as well. You know, sometimes you learn through those, 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 those key points. And, you know, I think that this is also a, a person who's quite a realist and could see, see straight through to, to where it really mattered. Yeah. Um, but this is somebody who will always keep a, a part of themselves closed off. Um, very, very strong, very tight boundaries. They'll share to a point, uh, but is a, there, there is a part of them that they will not let you into. Definitely a hardworking individual. Um, the idea about housing comes up really strongly here. Their work is a big key feature in terms of what they're doing. Um, I think this is somebody who's entrepreneurial, who has the capacity or the ability to expand on the kind of work that they're doing in a way that would reach very high aspirational ideals in terms of making a lot of money, being very comfortable. Like this is somebody who wants the good things in life. And first and, you know, first and foremost, this is somebody who wants to have family. They want to settle down and they want to, they want to find a, a place where they can share what is most important to them. And, and, you know, for them, it's like no places, no, there's no place like home. You know, they just want that balance. They want the balance of, of, of goodness in their life after, after seeing so much suffering in, in, in their life at the same time. I think they do have some mental health issues there, just in as much as, you know, they, they tend to look at things a little bit black and white and through the lens of suffering. And there's definitely that dark, dark element there, which is why they do need space. But once again, the whole thing about balance comes up. It's very yin and very yang. It's, it's a bit one side or the other, you know. Um, they're, they're really lo looking to balance that in a very conscious way to find happiness through fulfill and fulfilment through a relationship and, you know, settling down with kids and a family. I hope this reading has made some sense. Anyway, so um, drawing it to a close, like and share this video. Um, yep, yeah, tap on subscribe and tap on the bell icon while you're there. That'll give you notifications for any future readings that I post. Um, if you're interested in the services that I offer as a psychic tarot reader, you can go to www.tonyfoxtarot.com. And just on a final note, I release videos each and every week, so keep an eye out for those that I've um, got coming up over the next couple of weeks. And also browse the ones that I've already posted. So feel free to do that. Take care and thanks very much. Hi everyone, welcome to card three. This is your reading. And today we are looking at the intentions of the other, of the other person. We've got some cards out, so plenty here to kick off with really. And um, let's just get it started. So this is somebody who is very focused on the idea of um, security and setting things up around um, the idea of having a kid maybe. A lot of nurturing instinct here, um, but really a, a really sort of strong provider type who wants to get everything in order, really, financially and materially speaking, um, to make way for having kids. I think they take the idea very seriously. Like it's 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 really like a next step for them in terms of what they want. So that's really keyed into their kind of you know horizon view. Um, I think a very, a very intelligent person with money and security. They know how to make money work. Very good at ma managing money. Uh, but, you know, the key thing about money and, 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 and security is that they want to pass that on, you know, inherently to, to kids, to children, to family. Um, so for me, this is somebody who wants to leave a legacy. Now... I get a sense that they haven't, my feeling is they haven't been in a relationship for, 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 for quite a while, actually. I think they've just been going with the flow um, and, you know, kind of kind of seeing where it all goes on one level. But deep down, I think they're, they're really worried about it. They're very fearful that they're not going to find somebody who actually gives them that real experience of love. I don't, I don't feel like this is somebody who has experienced love yet. Um, I think they've tried a number of relationships 
but they've just all been really dissatisfying or unsuccessful in a way where this is not kind of, you know, resonated for them at a heartfelt level. Um, so I think they have a lot of questions around that. A lot, they've got a lot of anxieties around it because they feel really ready to settle down. You know, the, the whole idea of security and, you know, putting things in place in a way where there are practical outcomes is really where they're at. You know, so I think this is somebody who's finding it really difficult to, to reconcile the idea of having to search for a partner and to find that kind of truthful, heartfelt resonance of love um, versus I want to have kids now and kind of like live happily ever after in a way. Um, so maybe a little bit of impatient. Um, he's a very active person. A lot of energy. You're going to get a, get a lot of energy coming through this person. Um, really adventurous type. Um, wants to get out there and see the world. Um, yeah, maybe, may, may, maybe into really active sports, you know, into mountain climbing, into into going to the gym. I, I kind of, I, I, I get a very energetic person who really is engaged with their physical self. They like like the great outdoors. You know, they want to be outside and they want to experience nature. Um, and this, this thing of, of, of sort of, you know, the, of, of, of energy is really important. They, they need an outlet. They need an outlet to, um, to siphon that off in a way that has constructive outcomes for them. So this is not somebody who's going to like sit around and, you know, um, watch TV or watch sports or, or play video games. You know, this, this is somebody who's actively engaged in life. And they're very clear about what they want as well in terms of, you know, this, this whole thing about nurturing. And I don't think it's, no, nurturing is not just about having children. It's also about having a partner that they can nurture, you know. Um, this is a very hands-on, tactile person. I kind of feel like they're very cuddly, you know. They, they, they want to explore the physicality, external to them in terms of what the world has to offer, but also what's next to them in terms of a relationship. You know, they really they really want to nurture and you know so it's tactile it's connecting it's um you know being very present with somebody uh, it's quite kind of beautiful really there's a real spiritual flair here for me here, here with this person as well i kind of feel like this is somebody who's quite spiritually evolved um i think they're a very active external world like and when i say that i mean they're out there doing things manifesting things working towards goals exploring the world but they've also got a very active inner world and by that I mean I think they're kind of you know very um, imaginative you know they have a very rich um experience in terms of how they think and feel and perceive what's going on at an emotional level and at, at, at a sort of like an intelligent you know um level as far as their intelligence is concerned but also um from 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 a, a kind of very sort of sort of psycho spiritual perspective very very you know it's, crown chakra is very open very very open to um reaching new heights in terms of development and growth you know so this is not somebody who this is not somebody who is kind of you know, just just going through the motions in life you know they're not just ticking boxes they're actually here for the real experience in terms of trying to unfold their path you really see that here with the fool and the page of wands because the fool is about you know a road less travel and going on a journey and moving along that in a very sort of intuitive way and you know the page of wands is you know the wands are so instinctual and 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 they have a really strong you know a, a very a very a, the, the fire burns very brightly in the wands so this is somebody on their path you know crown chakra is open deep imagination very um very outdoorsy, really wanting to connect, but they're also doing things in a, in, a, in a way that's quite quite unique as well. You know, I don't, this is not a, certainly not a conservative person. Um, this is somebody who just kind of want to make makes it up as they go along in a in a way. I mean, they've definitely got plans that they're working towards in terms of security and nurturing and and, and you know m material. I guess productive outcomes. You know, around the idea of having a family. But at the same time, you know, I kind of feel like this is somebody who sort of throw everything in, in, into the back of a, you know, like a minivan or a bus and go on a wild adventure. Or, 
take their family, you know, on some sort of wild, you know, explorative holiday or vacation, you know, um, to travel through a rainforest in the Amazon or something, you know, like this is, this is somebody who, who, who kind of like wants to take a bit of risk, you know, wants to have a real experience, wants to instill deep imaginative, um, you know, stimulating experiences for, 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 for their kids, you know, and for, for their partnership. So this is a, this is somebody who has quite a rich, for me, has quite a rich, um, has definitely has quite a, a sort of a rich, um, sorry, I'm, I'm picking, I'm trying to pick up this thing about betrayal comes up. I just picked this up out of my box and, you know, like, I, and then I, and I looked at it and I thought, I don't see betrayal. And I, I put it back and then I reach back in and I got betrayal again, which is, you know, the thing about betrayal might, might, might flare here around the nine of, you know, but I don't know that that means betrayal about a relationship. Betrayal is broad, right? Right. Betrayal for me, I feel this is more about whether life is going to betray them and or almost dupe them out of you know the the, the experience of love because they haven't they haven't experienced love. I think if I think this person feels that if 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 the world doesn't give them what they haven't experienced, they would feel betrayed. This thing about spirit and going with the flow uh, is really strong because it's down here again here with the world and the 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 eight of wands. The eight of wands is all about sort of. The force of spirit messages coming through. Very intuitive person. Very, very much they listen to their instincts. Maybe even have a bit of a sort of you know a bit, a bit of a, a psychic flair. You know they get messages coming through. Um, they really trust in the universe. They trust in the universal flow of how things move forwards. And they're very quick paced. You know, uh, very quick on their feet. Very quick to make decisions. Uh, this is very po a very positive person, a very very positive person, yeah, definitely. Okay, so let me have a little bit more of a tickle on the cards, and this this thing about kids comes up even stronger. You know, this 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 maternal or paternal instinct, this this idea of wanting to have kids. And wanting to set things up so that there is the support to do that, you know, so that's whether that's housing or, or, or their job, um, you know, the security to support the idea of, of, of having a family. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're really they're really focused on finances at, at the moment, the idea of a new life, you know, a new child, perhaps. But also starting a new life in terms of, uh, you know, like a, a, a relationship where they have, have this emotional fulfillment that has, has, that has been missing. Very giving person. You know, they, 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 they're very kind, very, ge very generous. Definitely somebody who, um, <clears throat> definitely somebody who is at a point in their life where, you know, they, they, they want all of these ideas, you know, all of these aspirations to become mobilized in a way to become reality. So this is somebody who is ready and waiting to meet the right person and to connect in at a deeper level that they've never experienced before with the idea of setting up a, a really secure world in terms of having a family and having their finances in place. You know, they want to be adventurous. Um, they want to give. You know, they, they, they're, they're very generous. They really want to give. So I'm not picking up negatives here. That's really interesting. I'm not picking up making any negatives. Everything's been so positive so far. You know, they've got strong boundaries as well. Very positive, very reinforced boundaries. The one thing I feel may be that is a slight kind of, you know, not, but even then, that's not negative. I think the idea is that they they want they want to have kids, but they don't want they don't want to be stifled by the idea of a traditional family that sets up this kind of routine that becomes really boring. You know, like so 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 you know, settling down. You know, all of a sudden, you you know, maybe you have a mortgage, or or you know, you've got to service you, your, your finances. You know, around the idea of supporting children, supporting a family. 
you know, and and for them, for them, if if it just became about some nine to five job, some nine to five experience that was all about supporting, you know, the idea of having kids and a family, you know, that that I think that would send them insane. Like this is this is not somebody who's going to fit into that picture. This is somebody who needs an element of risk. They need adventure. They need to go away on that kind of um, journey that keeps them alive, you know? So, so, so I think that could be quite demanding, actually. I think for, for some people that could be demanding because this is somebody who wants to pack everything into the car and go away on a weekend. Um, they want to kind of explore at every opportunity. They want to kind of break into, into, into new fields, new horizons, new experiences that allow them to burn off the, this energy, but also so that they can soak up what the world has to offer. So incredibly adventurous. And, <laughs> it doesn't stop like the adventure doesn't stop like it's, it's it's constant dynamic you know i kind of want to be with somebody who's on that same level so they're really motivated um you know spirit the spiritual element comes up really strongly again here with the magician and the and the two of pentacles i think a, a big part of also wanting to be in a relationship is to combine resources you know but also you know so that's from a financial point of view i think you know to combine resources um, in, in, in a way where you get things that you, you don't get when you're on your own. Um, so definitely there's a financial aspect to that. But also, I really do feel that this is somebody who wants to be with somebody who that they can bounce off of, you know, bounce ideas off of, um, who knows how to keep life dynamic in a way where you're pushing, pushing boundaries in a way, pushing, pushing, certainly pushing spiritual boundaries. You know, so they have they have a thirst to explore the outer world and the inner world that comes up once again. But you know, they, they no place like home. You know, this is this is definitely somebody who wants to settle down, wants that experience of uh, you know, like a, a, a rich domestic world where where everything is really kind of sort of, you know, falling into place in terms of, um, in, in terms of security and family. I think at the moment though, they're kind of just treading ground. They feel very isolated. Um, they feel very alone. They're not sure whether this experience is going to unfold. Um, I kind of feel that, you know, there is a connection here between the two of you. And I think that there is something perhaps that the two of you um, have in common in terms of being able to keep a relationship really dynamic. I feel like there is a link here between the two of you. I feel like there is something going on. Um, I feel like there is this potential that you both want to act on. But I don't, but at the same time, but at the same time, you know, maybe this is where, where things kind of are, are, are just, you know, like a bit of fun. You like everything's kind of like feeling really good. And at the same time, I don't know that you've really connected in on a deeper level. Um, which says to me that this, this might be, uh, you know, like a, a kind of a, maybe a chance meeting or, a, you know, like a, a fairly young um, sort of, connection where where things feel great and you're explore, exploring the dynamics of where this could potentially go but at the same time you, you know you haven't really turned that corner where you can start to really take things seriously so maybe you're looking at this this from 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 a fair distance and they are as well family is everything this is somebody who's definitely wanting to have family wanting to settle down you know, and you know, they're they're focus, they're focus. You know, change of focus here. Um, but the the change the change of focus for me has possibly come up because what I'm what I'm feeling here about this connection with you. You know, all of a sudden their focus has changed on the potential as to where this could all go. I, I for me, the the both of you feel this is this has got something in it. You know, that there is a connection. Um, that it's dynamic. That you both have a lot in common. Lots of different skills, lots of different experiences that seem to come together in a way where where, where you share different qualities that um, 
had this potential to move forward. This is somebody who is very capable, I think. I, f I kind of feel that this is this this is not somebody who fits into uh, you know like a, a like a conservative box. This is somebody who does things quite differently. I wonder whether they worked on their own, um, whether they had their own business. Maybe they work independently, work in their own business, do freelancing, contract work. Very 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 strong, very motivated individual who really know, knows how to turn out um, results from, from that perspective. Very ambitious, you know, really knows what it is that they can do, knows how to make something of themselves. I think they're at a, definitely at a crossroads with their work and about, you know, work taking off. I kind of feel like things are gathering momentum in terms of where it's all going with their work at this point in time. But yeah, I, I kind of, so for me, I feel that this is a really interesting person who has an enormous amount to offer in terms of being very constructive with a relationship. I don't, I don't feel this as somebody who has any emotion, any emotional baggage, Like you know, they're quite, they're quite positive and very engaged, very constructive in the way that they deal with life. And that kind of filters through into everything for me. It filters through into the way that they deal with people. It filters through into their values. It filters through into the way they work. You know, everything just seems to be kind of easy. You know, I don't, I don't get this. Is this is not somebody who's got um, a lot of issues to deal with? You know, like it's kind of very point and go. And I find that so refreshing because you know, often with reading into characters you, you know the majority majority of people do we, we've all got so much baggage really and so to find somebody who is very spiritually aware and very engaged in life in a way where they want to get out there and explore explore what it has to offer who finds it so easy to work and produce results, um, who knows what they want in terms of settling down and maybe having a family and this whole thing about security. And, you know, they know what they, and they know what they don't want. They don't want to be bogged down in some sort of nine to five predictable experience that doesn't produce any real flavor or experience, you know? Um, you know, so, 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 so they're very sure about what they're capable of, what they want, you know, um, and, and, you know, so I, but the, so for me, the thing about this is, is that you really need to have your, your wits about you in terms of keeping up, because I think they're always going to be leading. They're always going to be the one to push. They're always going to be the one to say, let's, let's, let's throw everything into the car and let's go away for a weekend or let's go on an amazing holiday adventure, you know, take the kids with us. Um, you know, and I can, I kind of feel like this is somebody who would have, you know, the kids in, 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 in like in a, in a papoose or a back backpack, you know, and the, it, it, even as infants, you know, it's like, let's take them, let's go. Um, they wouldn't be inhibited by the, the idea that, um, you know, you might have very young children or, you know, so, so they're not risk averse. And I think the thing is that what they're wanting to also do is to, to really share these experiences in a way where their, 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 their children and their partner are enriched by everything that the world has to offer. So you know, you've got to be active to keep up with this person. I think this is this that that could be very demanding. You know, um, if you're wanting to sort of have a quiet night at home, yeah, maybe in isolation. But I I, I, I just don't feel that they would indulge that too much. I think they get very bored very quickly. So. There's a there's a strong sexual energy here as well. I kind of feel, I kind of feel like this is somebody who is very sexually explore, explorative, um, who likes to keep things new and like likes to keep things fresh, who likes to take risks from the point of view of experiencing different things. Um, but it's all very positive. Everything kind of it, it kind of keeps on filtering through into into this as a very very positive. But it's all push 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 forward, you know. Um, and so. I kind of feel on that level. Um, if if you said if if you said no, I think that that could cause some conflict. Definitely, that could cause some conflict. I think that's where you probably would get a negative side. If you know, like if you start pushing back and say that's not what I want to do, 
I just want to take it easy. I just want to keep it quiet. You know, I just want to have some downtime. I think I think that's where you know you're going to have to maybe contend with somebody who would react badly. But you know, in the grand scheme of things, that's kind of nothing. You know, because you would be on board in this relationship um, primarily because you would have so so much in common. And you know, what I picked up before was that you do have a lot in common. So for me. For me, yeah, look, come to the edge. You know, this is somebody who wants to, to take it to the edge. You know, they want, they want to kind of take it to the limit. They want to take it to the limit. This is an adventurer. There's not a lot to, to dislike here. The only thing I would say is, is, is that, you know, unless you <laughs> lead, you know, this is somebody who takes the lead, who pushes things to the edge, who gets things up and running, who makes it work, who doesn't take no for an answer. And if anything stops them, if anything gets in their way, if anything kind of draws a line in the sand, then what they do is they don't, they don't react to it. They kind of look at it from a, a, a very spiritual point of view, very creative angle. It's like, you know, they go inside themselves and kind of figure out how do I get around this? Or what what, what does this mean? What, what does this mean in terms of my growth? You know, so 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 you know, really expansive, imagine, imagine, imaginative, spiritual um, capacity. You know, very very diverse views and ways of dealing with things that are really um, a little bit. I'd say this is a little bit cutting edge. Yeah, go to come to the edge, lead. And this this is somebody who is. Um, uh, like a, like what's the word? So kind of like a like a, a you know like a on a spiritual conquest, you know. Um, this is this is this is somebody who 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 bears a this is somebody who bears a torch, a spiritual torch. The spirituality is very very strong, very very strong. But you know, like I don't feel like in a wishy washy way. It's like this is not sort of you know hippie, and there's nothing wrong with being hippie. This is somebody who is is at the same time very. I kind of feel very professional, very together. They like they have their, they have their stuff together in terms of their finances, their security, um, you know, and, and how they want to map things out to actually have a really comfortable life. This is not somebody who, is kind of like you know. Um, this is this is not somebody who's kind of being really economically. Um, conservative this 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 is still somebody i kind of feel wants to have good things you know like they, they kind of want to indulge but at the same time you know and, and and the spirituality they may not wear that as a as a hat even you know it's not it's not like they're actually really out there sort of saying you know i i i'm, I'm kind of you know evolve an evolving spiritual person i think it's just it's a part of who it is that they are is what i'm saying so I kind of feel that they're definitely ready to settle down in a relationship. I think that I had a feeling that there, for some of you, there was definitely a connection between the two. I think there's a lot more there to unfold. I feel a lot of positive stuff coming through this. I, I got to say though, the one thing I do feel a little bit about this reading is it kind of a little bit drained. Um, and, and you know, like, I, so, so I, you definitely need the energy to keep up with this person, but you know, incredibly fulfilling outcomes. If you're on that same level, I think that this is somebody who would actually refuel you if you were feeling low. Um, I think they've got that vibe. You know, there's a there, there's a definite energy pulse about them. Um, but there, but there are certain demands that you know you, you know like you, you you need to kind of keep up in a way where um, this is just not somebody who wants to slow down. You know, for them life is for living, and it's today that they want to to take to take that. Um, yeah, so all really positive, really. Okay, I hope this reading has made some sense. And if it has, please feel free to leave some comments down below. And it'd be great to get your feedback. Like and share this video where you can. And hit subscribe. Tap on the bell icon. And also hit subscribe because the bell icon, that'll give you notifications for any future readings that I post. And um, I've got plenty of videos already up and running there on YouTube. So if you want to check those out, please do. And keep an eye out for anything that I do post in the future. So, um... Take care. Thank you.